I'm sorry. I- I'm going to warn you right now that I'm actually pissed off. I'm actually very displeased. I am quite bitter. I, I, ha- I take issue. I take umbrage. I'm disgusted. I didn't even know it was E3. Like, Zill sent me a message. He's like, hey, check out the Battlefield, you know, one gameplay. We looked at it. Battlefield 1 looks amazing, but how well does it play is another thing. We'll find out when the open beta happens. I would be surprised, but to me, already Battlefield 1 looks like it smells a lot like Battle fucking Front. <laughs> Lacking in content of gameplay. Two point and click easy shooting, you know, whatever. But that's not my point. My point is... Bethesda had a press conference. Press conference. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to be kerfuffled. I will probably stumble over my words because there's so many thoughts going off in my mind that it's like. Da, 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 da. Anyway, it, you know, Bethesda has their press co- press conference. I missed it. I went to sleep. Thank God. I'm glad I did because I would have stayed up all night and I would have printed out Todd Howard's face, put it on a pillow, and then pissed on it. And then I'd sleep on it and scream, "Thanks, Todd, you asshole!" Seriously, Bethesda outlined their final DLCs. These shits are nothing short of motherfucking pathetic. Like straight up, balls out, pathetic. These last bits of DLC are disgusting. The fact the season's pass is fifty dollars is atrocious. Truly atrocious. I can't even think of all the words that are just swirling in a myriad of vitriol and anger and rage-fueled d- dissension into madness. Bethesda, just, I'm done. I've had it. I'm fucking Bethesda is finally pissed on me for the last time. Bethesda's been dragging its ass ever since the end of Skyrim. Do you know why? Because Skyrim was a huge hit and modders fixed everything. That's what led to Bethesda essentially getting this idea in their head, oh, we could put out something lackluster, we'll make shit ton of money, and modders will fix it for us. So then they tried to put, you know, they tried to make made paid mods. Bethesda right there tried to jerk off in our faces and told us it was raining. Paid mods failed, even though they wanted it to work. You know why? So that way they could put out games crummily, and then they would get paid by the fucking mod community for years to come. Endless free revenue for no work. I was livid. I will donate to a fucking mod author right now without a fucking... I, I've donated to mod authors. I've never had any dirty feelings. But if Bethesda pulled it off, I would have... I don't know what I would have done, but it would have been horrid. It would have been horrible. It would have been a fucking social holocaust. I can't even think of a word. So when Bethesda learned that we as PC gamers aren't stupid enough to pay them for mods that they did shit to create... They moved on to phase two. When they did Fallout 4, they knew the move was to move mods to consoles. That way they could move even more copies of games. And now Bethesda's putting out the Elder Scrolls Skyrim Remastered, which just looks slightly better than the original. They had some new filters put in in a depth of field. Lottie friggin' dot. They're doing this so people will buy it again. The remaster crap. The remaster complex. Ever since this new generation has come out, has been nothing but remasters and companies cashing in on their intellectual properties that were successful last generation, and they know they can do it again. Bethesda is going to use the modding community to keep selling their games on consoles because that's where you can rack up the most money because console gamers will pay for it. This is it's like a, it's a genius move. Like, oh, now you get Skyrim with mods, and they knew console gamers have been wanting mods for Skyrim forever. And I mean, if you really wanted the mods, you could have just got yourself a PC little babies and then got on and enjoyed them now nah, you'd rather sit there and have bethesda jerk you off and her ham fist you in the ass now my point is with this dlc i'm gonna be all over the place i apologize i just saw these two these dlcs i was like okay let's see what's up now there's weapon racks and mannequins what the fuck weapon racks and mannequins have already been going on in fucking mods why the fuck would you think i want to pay you assholes for something that's already happened Something that should have been in the game from the beginning. You know, you had it fucking shown up in the trailers and everything, and then you don't have it in the game when it launches. Basically, this is just cut content that they are selling back to our dumb asses. They fucked everyone with a season pass. The only reason why I got a season pass, I had a feeling it was going to be bad, but I didn't think it was going to be this bad. I wanted the season pass because I knew modders would take the resources and create something decent with it. And Bethesda knows it too. They knew that there'd be guys like me who wouldn't touch that season pass unless it was going to give something to modders. They knew that there'd be so many new gamers to fuck a Fallout 4 that they would buy it off the sheer hype alone. 
after playing The Witcher's DLC the past few days, Blood and Wine, Hearts of Stone, this is expansion packs. These are expansions. This is making the school story better, making you more interested and invested in the game. The shit Bethesda is doing is selling us these godforsaken, base-building, cock-sucking dick treats. Uh, you don't seem to be having too much fun, huh? Treat it like a party. Have a good time. Hey, do you want one of these cock sweets? No. Cock sweets. That's what they call it in the business. Viagra. They get a nice hard boner and smack you in the face with it. Ah, you like that? Here's a little extra content we cut from the game. Only five dollars. Ugh, you love it, don't you, console gamer? Thank you, Pete Hines. Thank you, Todd Howard. I'm like seeing people write down, thank you, Bethesda, for putting Skyrim Remastered on PS4 with mods. Really? No, you assholes should be going, thank you, modders, because without you, Bethesda wouldn't even bother with this shit. If it wasn't for PC gaming, Skyrim wouldn't have been the hit it was. Flat out, balls out. All right, Skyrim, yeah, it was good, but when it was on PC and the mods started coming out, it created a revolution. It created memes. There was just this whole thing going on. There was a fucking Thomas the Tank Engine is a dragon. Bethesda is a corporate show company. The comments from people are endlessly pissed. People are flat out fucking pissed off. Once again, hosed by Season Pass, I don't want any more junk DLC. After going to the polish of Witcher 3 Blood and Wine, I tried to jump back into Far Harbor, but I just couldn't. Bethesda really should be fucking ashamed of themselves. At this stage, it's good to see the backlash the game received. It's about time that it's just a Bethesda way excuse was rejected. I fully agree. Completely, it's just, just tons of these comments where people share my anger and sentiment. Like, and these are the last DLCs. You know, these are the last ones. That's it. How the fuck did someone in marketing sit there and say, this is worth $50? You know what they did? They put it out. They knew that this shit was only worth like $20. And then they said, uh, how can we milk more money out of them? Let's tell them uh, we're going to come up with some more stuff since it's going to go off into next year. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll support the game for like, what, six months? And that's it. Fucking CD Projekt Red takes a year and puts out a great DLC. I bet you dollars to donuts, those like anyone who supports this shit is like under Bethesda's dumb and is a corporate show. Like Mr. Matty plays, I could totally see him going, well, you know, the DLC price wasn't bad and Bethesda does make great games. <laughs> Man, why don't you give fucking Rod Howard, Rod Howard, there's his new name, Rod Howard, a fucking uh, rim job. I, I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm, I can't believe this. It's like just such shit. I didn't even pay full price for the DLC. I paid like $20 for the DLC. Like I made sure I could get a deal on it. And even then I felt cheated after the first DLC came out. Automatron. Two hours of butt fuckery. Uh, Wasteland Workshop. What the fuck? It was like next to nothing. Next to nothing. The, the, you know, it should have came to my house ring my doorbell and I should have said hey who, is that you Todd Howard and then he should have punched me in the face and then walked off and told me to go fuck myself it would have been more genuine than this shit 